What's up you guys? It's your girl Donique Monde and I'm coming at you guys today with another video. So the video that I'll be bringing you guys today will be on individual mink eyelashes or cluster lashes, whatever you call them. So the reason why I wanted to bring you guys this video is because we are in quarantine and for my girls who want to save a coin while their lash check is currently not doing lashes or if you just want to try this at home, then this will be the video for you. So these are the lashes that I use. I ordered them from Amazon. So these are fab lashes. They are individual clusters, the volume kind, and I got them in a size 16. So I also had tried another style by the same exact brand and I tried the 15s first. I wanted something a little bit longer than what I had got first so I decided this time to go with the 16 so this is the first case that I picked up these were the 15s they were D curled and they were 15 mm so I absolutely love this brand they were super affordable I want to say they were about $8.99 a pack or they may be about $9.99 either way I go I will include the link in the description box and I will um, include the price as well for each item so I also had picked the lashes up in a size 18 as well after putting the lashes on I determined that those were a little bit too long for my liking so I decided to take them off but this is what the case looked like typically when I do my eyelashes I use about six rows so you are able to get one full set out of the case as well as you can refill your lashes once so one full set and one fill in with one case which is not bad at all because you're on the pan about nine to ten dollars for a case so this is the brand of glue that I use. I absolutely love how the case look. So it is, says Home Pro and it is also for sensitive eyes. So this right here will help with the fumes that some people uh, get when they do their own lashes. I did not get any fumes at all, but also I was sure to be extremely careful when applying the lashes also a disclaimer i am not telling anyone to do this at home by all means if you are not comfortable please go to a professional i am just telling you what i like to do and how i like to uh do my lashes at home and the products that i like to use so i absolutely love how the box slides down they also included a small little card with the business information the name and the social media information information so how to find the company so then it comes in a little small bottle and um, they also include a little red cap and that right there just helps you poke a hole in the top of the bottle when you're getting ready to use it I thought that was absolutely cool so all around the box they have information so here they tell you what to do and what not to do be sure that you are extremely careful if you do decide to try this method at home yourself so this is the front of the case again that is absolutely beautiful so the next thing is this is the card so it tells you how to connect with them on social media it also said that there's a free gift um, as well included so here is their contact information so their email their website and their social media so that is the card that came in the box the next thing I'll be showing you is the tubes that I like to use when uh, applying my lashes. So the tweezers that I like to use, I purchased them off of Amazon. So it is the very skinny ones. And then also the other ones, I don't know the name for the tweezers. So please don't talk about me in the comments because I don't know the name. But these are the two uh, pair of tweezers that I like to use to do my eyelashes. I would recommend that if you decide to do them yourself that you pick up these tweezers or pick up tweezers that would be helpful for you. The next thing I picked up was this little mini fan off of Amazon. So this helps when I am applying my lashes and I want to go ahead and try to dry them. 
this is extremely helpful i would recommend that you not get your eyelashes wet within 24 hours after doing them to ensure that your set does last that is extremely important so when you're washing your face be sure that you are washing around your eyelashes so that you do not get them wet that will help your eyelashes last a lot longer so the next thing that you'll see me using is I'm going to be using a spoolie. So using the spoolie will help me just organize my eyelashes before I start to apply them. Just to make sure like when I wash my eyes there were no clumps of glue or anything that was left in them. Also I will be using the spoolie to brush my eyelashes as I apply them just to make sure like they are not sticking together or anything like that. So be sure to pick up a spoolie as well. So next, I will start pulling one lash off of the tray. So it's one cluster. And this is what it looks like. It has about five little individual lashes on it together. But they are already in the volume form. And that is absolutely what I love. You can see it a little bit closer here. And I put a little bit of glue in the little white ring thing that you see on my finger. So that just helps me not to put the glue on a top or a any type of other surface because the glue does dry really fast but if you don't have this then again use what you have so next you will see me start to apply the lashes i am not applying the lashes to my waterline i'm applying them above my waterline be sure that you are extremely careful when you do this. So next, I'm going to start using the fan. I'm only going to fan it for a little while because I want to go ahead and put more on it. But as I put more, I will use the fan. So if you guys will go ahead and continue to watch the video and I'll be back. So now this is what the first eye look like that I have completed. Again, I will be going over at the end just to ensure that I have not missed any spaces or just to kind of guesstimate to make sure um, they are full the way that I like them and probably will add more to the end of my eye as well. So next I'm going to go ahead and just fan it a little bit before I move on to the next eye just to ensure like those last couple of lashes that I stuck on that they are a little dry.
So this is the final product. I have did both of my eyes. I will have to go back over because I did notice after looking at the clips that uh, they weren't as full as I would like them to be and that I missed a couple of spots. But girl, tell me, tell me this don't look good, baby baby day is nice and full and it is absolutely bougie on a budget for my girls that's not trying to break the bank but still trying to look bougie or you still you like your meek lashes but you can't afford to do i'm gonna go to the salon girl i got you i got you covered go ahead and head over to amazon pick up you some lashes pick up you some glue again it is a disclaimer please do this at your own risk make sure you are if you do decide to do them that you are extremely careful if you guys like this video did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please like share comment and subscribe and let me know if you ever tried this before at home and if you did how did it turn out bye